Meanwhile, Walter's not mincing his words today during a heated Board of Education meeting. He has been threatening a takeover in Tulsa, and today he doubled down. News 9's Haley Waggers live in the newsroom with reaction. Haley? Amanda Carl, the state board voted unanimously today to reinstate Tulsa's accreditation status to accredited with deficiencies. This means they have less than a year to make some serious changes in the district, or Walter says Tulsa could lose local control. I would advise Tulsa Public Schools, their leadership, do not test me. Threats for change to the Tulsa Public School Board. But I want to be crystal clear. If that does not happen, I leave every option on the table. While well, the conversation at the State Department of Education was focused around Tulsa, education advocate Erica Wright says it's bigger than just them. Just because you're not a Tulsa doesn't mean this doesn't impact you. Teachers and parents are now questioning if Tulsa does make these changes. Will the focus shift to a new district? You have now an administration who can pick and choose who they like, who they don't like. Parents are terrified indeed but not about gender identity or studying the history of institutionalized racism in the U.S. They're terrified that their child's school may be the next target of an extremist who actually believes the lies that are spread from this room. One of the changes TPS was challenged with, creating an action plan for its failing schools. There are school districts in this state whose proficiency scores are much worse. To point the public's attention at a school district that's not even the worst performing in the whole state, Sounds like a smokescreen to me. Dozens of parents, advocates, and educators shared passionate public comments. Many saying rhetoric coming from OSDE is causing teachers to walk on eggshells. Do we think that those kids are really getting in good learning while all of this is going on? And Walters is pushing for change. I'm willing to do whatever it takes for these kids. Walters has given Tulsa a year probationary period, and Tulsa school board members will have to attend monthly in-person meetings with the state board to discuss progress and changes made. Live in the newsroom, Haley Wager, Oklahoma's own News 9.